Welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness the world, and all its peoples. It is He who set it on the seas. On the waters He made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice. Holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, 
so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the King of the ages so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives. All who were ravaged may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of Heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous who shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements, for they shall rejoice in you as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wind. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow, white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word, and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. All-powerful God, it is through your Church, generously endowed with gifts of grace and fortified by the Holy Spirit, that you send out your word to all nations. Strengthen your church with the best of all food and make it dauntless in faith. Multiply its children to celebrate with one accord the mysteries of your love at the altar on high. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. Knowing that a man is not justified by legal observance, but by faith in Jesus Christ, we too have believed in him in order to be justified by faith in Christ, not by observance of the law. For by works of the law, no one will be justified. It was through the law that I died to the law to live for God. I have been crucified with Christ, and the life I live now is not my own. Christ is living in me. I still live my human life 
but it is a life of faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. We trust in God's concern for every person He has created and redeemed through His Son. Let us, therefore, renew our prayer to Him. Fulfill the good work You have begun in us, Lord. O God of mercy, guide us towards spiritual growth. Fill our minds with the thoughts of truth, justice, and love. For your name's sake, do not abandon us forever, and do not annul your covenant. Accept us, for our hearts are humble and our spirits contrite, and those who trust in you shall not be put to shame. You have called us to a prophetic vocation in Christ. Help us proclaim your mighty deeds. Fulfill the good work you have begun in us, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, fill our hearts with your love as morning fills the sky. By living your law, may we have your peace in this life and endless joy in the life to come. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Friday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Matthew Curtis, composer Kevin Allen, and the chant ensemble, Solentes. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>